ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about the stock market and the stock market could drop another 25%. Now, a lot of times we'll say that people think you're crazy, but now you got to start looking at the real data and start looking at what the banks are saying. So let's jump straight into the article so you can read it for yourself. If you jump uh, straight over to the article, guys, uh, let's pull this up. Now, this is in fortune.com. Uh, you can go look it up. The stock market has been in free fall since the Fed said pain was coming. And if you recall, you can go back to some of my videos that I made on Jackson Hole because uh, they had that meeting just recently in Wyoming where he said that he will not stop raising rates until he hits 2% inflation. And he said, we know that pain will be coming and it could be loss of jobs and, and so forth. But he said, even though the cost will fall hardest on those who cannot afford it, like the poorer class, he doesn't care. He is going to continue to raise rates until it hits 2%. Remember, hard decision. He's got to either ruin the economy by a recession or ruin it with inflation. Both ways, it's going to hurt a lot. All right, let's get back into that article here. So if we jump back into it, uh, it's been in free fall since he said that pain was coming. But Morgan Stanley, a gigantic bank, says buckle up for another drop. Now, as we go through this article, man, um, some real big dingers that are coming. Uh, he says here, look at this. Equity prices will be subdued until late 2023. Absolutely. That this could be not just a couple months, guys. This is going to be, this is probably early if they continue. This could be several years, but he's saying at least another year of way, way down. Uh, he says, even after a roughly 9% drop in the S&P since mid-August, he says uh, buyers should still beware. This is not, we're going to rebound to where we were before. That's not going to happen either. He says, Wilson believes that the stock market is set to experience fire and ice part two over the coming months. The Fed chair, uh, Jerome Powell, said at the annual Central Bank Symposium in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. This is what I was referring to. I made uh, three videos about that on YouTube. You can go check it out. Uh, Powell argued some pain may be required. Yes, of course he did. And the S&P sank 5% after he made those comments. Uh, look at this. Wilson has contended that it was nothing but a trap for investors all along so that the stock was rallying just recently this summer. And he said this was nothing but a trap for investors all along. You guys, even the banks are looking at this and knowing what is going to be happening, right? Uh, if the look at this sticky cost pressures, particularly on the labor side, Higher wages will compress the corporate profits moving forward. Of course, if people demand more money for wages and they do pay them, they're not going to have near as much profit. So as the profits are down, the stocks will collapse even worse. And this just keeps going down and down. This is kind of a doom loop. So they are trying to destroy demand right now, but it is only part of the inflation problem. The inflation problem has too much money chasing too few goods. So how do we classically fix that is that we would create a lot more goods. So let's take that. If bananas are a dollar a banana and we want more bananas, they grow more bananas and the price comes down. If you only had one banana left in the entire city and it was the rarest thing ever, someone might pay a hundred thousand for it. So it's supply and demand. The way to get prices down is create a lot of it, right? So we could look at the supply side that way, but they can't do it. Everything is made, the gas is made in Russia and all the stuff is made in China and they're not happy right now. So we can't boost supply. Then they're left with the only other option is take away demand, raise interest rates so high and take all the money out of their pockets. So there's nothing left for them to go buy. That is what they're doing right now. And the second part of the inflation equation is what they will call a monetary policy. How many dollars are they creating? Okay, so let's go and, and look at this um, this chart here. You can go look at tradingeconomics.com. This is the Canadian money supply, M2 money supply. If we look at it in the max, it looks like a, a plane taking off and going to space. Okay, that's over a long period. Let's look over 10 years. Still looks straight up. Five years. Still looks straight up. One year. Okay, so they've been announcing that we've had all this inflation 
and they've got to cut all of these places. But look at the months of March, April, May, June. It's just going up and up and up and up. So they're telling everyone, don't buy anything. You save your money. But the government is spending more than ever before, which tells you the money is going to become more devalued. Inflation is going to continue. Look at it, United States. They're saying the exact same thing. Okay, so they've backed off what? A barely imperceptible amount here. They haven't, they, so they're not going up. They're just staying at the same level since inflation has been taken off this year. Okay, so let's look in five years. What's happened? It's gone parabolic. QE infinity forever. In the If you look at the five-year chart, look at the 10-year chart. Whammo, straight up. 25-year chart. It looks like an airplane taken off. Unbelievable. So you guys, when we look at this, this is inflationary pressures as the more money that they create, this little bit that they're going to be taking out of the market just by raising the rates is not going to do it. You need to have rates above real inflation in order to really tackle inflation. And remember, real inflation is way higher than what is stated by the government. So if you had a basket at Costco in 1980 versus 1981, they take the same basket of goods and they measure the two baskets. That's how they used to measure it. The same house, what was it worth last year or this year? They've changed the equations of how that they measure it. So now they have real inflation and that what the stated inflation, which is on the news, which is always about half of what it really is. So you got to pay attention to that stuff. I don't like it. It's not that it's fun. But this affects you. It affects what you can buy for your kids. How much money is the government going to take away from me? You've got to pay attention to that. Otherwise, we're going to get smooshed. And I don't want you to get smooshed. I don't want you to get in trouble. The stock market most likely is going to be falling a lot farther. So I'm not buying some stuff right now. But of course, we're buy things that people always will need. What about buying uh, some things that have water? One of my stocks is on water. Or if you had it based on agriculture and food, you need stuff like that. Alternatives, you can buy something like a bar of silver, or you can buy some gold, or you can buy some Bitcoin and Ethereum. You know, you can buy those things that are kind of off the beaten track. And when I buy them, I'm buying them for the long run. So that's what kind of what you got to do. Buy it for the long run, hold up and be ready for this all to go down. But with every bad thing comes opportunity. It's during a recession is a great time to start a business. It's a great time to buy a house. It's a great time to buy stocks, but it's only a good time if you have money to do that. So you have to be prepared for what is coming. Anyway, as you know, I'm always here for your health, wealth, and happiness. I care about you. I want you to do well. And so if you have any questions, please send them my way and I'll be happy to try and help you in any way I can. Uh, I really wish the best for you. If this helps you at all, Please like this video. Please subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell to, to know when I'm going to send something out. And please just tell your friends about it. We're really trying to get the word out there to help people, you know. And so that would really help me out. If And I'll help you out in any way we can. Like Reciprocal. Anyway, I love you guys. Thanks for everything that you do for me. I'll catch you in the next video.